just a few hours ago, uh, Meta, Facebook, released their biggest, newest, most awesome model ever. Models are what we use to do AI. And if you've ever been using uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT, then you've been using their proprietary closed models. What has Meta got? They've got open models, models that you can actually download. And if your computer's big enough, run them on your computer. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna let someone else run these models. And more than that, we're gonna use Grok, G-R-O-Q, to run these models so fast that uh, you'll wonder why you ever used any of the others. Uh, so in this, middle, this video, we're gonna look at what is Llama 3.1? We're gonna look at how can we run it fast on Grok? And then we're gonna implement this inside uh, Make to replace, uh, I've been using an OpenAI for one of my models, uh, for one of my scenarios. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I've been using OpenAI for a bit of uh, analysis on an incoming contact form to figure out whether it's a, a prospect, a cold offer, a complaint, or just spam. And we'll replace it with uh, this new Llama 3.1 and see uh, just how fast we can make it. Find this interesting, stick around, this is gonna be a good one. So Llama 3, uh, to go back a couple of years, Facebook was perhaps the first company to make uh, a large language model and uh, spend billions of dollars on it and then make the weights or the numbers you know, the, uh, the 8 billion, the 70 billion, the 405 billion numbers that make up the model publicly available. Initially, they did it accidentally. Um, and, uh, but it sprung up a huge ecosystem of researchers and uh, companies who started to tweak them, play with them, repurpose them uh, into the open model uh, landscape that we have today. Fortunately, Meta kept spending money, a lot of money, hundreds billions, at least tens of billions on, on hardware and operating them to continue to make new models. And today they've released uh, the Llama 3.1. Uh, not only they've uh, upgraded their existing models, the 8, 8B and the 70B, but for the first time ever, they've released a 400 billion parameter model. Um, and the benchmarks, which I, I won't get into here, the benchmarks are demonstrating that it is as good as OpenAI's uh, 4 O model that uh, came out a month or so ago. So this is the first time that we've had an open model, or what some people call open source model, that is as good as the proprietary foundation model. So exciting stuff and, and exciting for all the things that the rest of the ecosystem is going to be doing with these models uh, in the months to come. How do we get to use them? Um, I'm a huge fan of, of Grok. Grok are manufacturers of their own hardware for inference, um, which is a big word for running. Inference of a model is to run the model so that we can use it. So when you go to ChatGPT or to Claude uh, AI uh, and use the models, in, in large language AI parlance, that's called inference. You're, you're putting, you've already trained the model and now we're just uh, applying new inputs to get outputs uh, and we call that inference. The Grok speciality isn't training new models, which is what uh, NVIDIA is popularly known for doing uh, of late, um, and it's made them one of the biggest companies in the world. Grok uh, has focused on making it cheap and fast to do inference on models. And uh, how fast? Quite five times faster than the other models. So let's have a quick look at uh, just uh, what we can do. So I've got it here set up. Uh, this, is, this is a bit like chat GPT, so chat inference. If you go to the top right, you'll be able to play with the different models. You can see that the new 405 billion model is now available. Uh, but uh, when I play with it earlier, um, apparently it's there, but not there um, due to uh, everyone in the world wanting to play with it. But we can play with some of the other ones. So this is the new 3.170 billion. Let's just check that it's there. Uh, write a poem about using automation in my uh, business. Aside from the queue, which uh, you can see that once we're off the queue, the speed, that's 500 tokens per second, uh, token being three quarters of a word. So we'll call that 200 words a second that's pumped out there so fast. Um, can we get faster? Oh, yes, we can. Um, let's go with the even smaller model, the 8B. 750 tokens per second. Um, and that's a combination of, of how fast it can read 
my text in and how fast it can pump text out. This thing is incredible. Um, and so uh, it's also uh, free at the moment. And so totally, totally add this to your uh, arsenal of, 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 of tools to play with outside of automation. But what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using Grok um, and uh, Llama 3.1 uh, in our automation. Um, so let's have a look what we've got and where we can replace the OpenAI uh, completions that I've got with Llama 3 and with Grok. So the, what this is, is uh, the contact form for Mokra, uh, which has been the subject of some previous videos as we've implemented this uh, without any other third party services. And so when a request comes through here, it gets posted to this uh, webhook. We send it back a, uh, a 302 thank you, regardless of whether they're a spam or whatever, we always just say thank you. Uh, no point letting the spammers know that we've caught them spamming. We then check for capture. So if, that, if Google thinks they're a spammer, then we just throw it away. And here's where I then put in uh, some AI to sort of figure out whether it's a cold offer, someone who's using my contact form to let me know what wonderful SEO services they'd like to offer me, um, or whether it's someone who would like help in, with their automation for, uh, for the business, a consulting client, uh, or some other you know, prospective inquiry. Uh, whether it's someone complaining about uh, something I've said or one of the staff has said, um, or if it's just some other type of spam. So we're going to be doing some sort of AI just to, to filter it out. And then it goes into one of three different buckets. Either we put it into a, uh, a sales um, task form, uh, whether it goes into a list of cold offers that someone can read one day, um, or if it's a complaint, then of course we want to escalate that um, to, the, uh, to myself, uh, so I can uh, decide how we should handle complaints and spam, we just throw away. And a bit of fun here, uh, contacts I also send to my phone. So um, what are we going to do? We're going to replace this with using Llama 3 through Grok, um, and it's going to be super trivial. Let's just have a look at what we have in here. So we're using the OpenAI module. Now, uh, we do need to replace that. Our, uh, Ideally, what I would love to see is that this supported putting in another URL so I could just point it at Grok because Grok.com, uh, it supports the same API as OpenAI. And many of the uh, software libraries for Grok um, just use OpenAI libraries themselves and just point at Grok. Unfortunately, the, uh, whoever's implemented the OpenAI module in Make has not yet made it possible for us to put in the Grok URL, which would have been great. We apparently uh, can't do that. So we will not be able to use this module. Instead, we will make an API call um, using, uh, using an API key. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use this. We're going to put in the Grok URL here. Uh, probably going to be a post, we'll put in the key, um, and then everything else as uh, when we're ready to do it. All right, so let's unhook that and we'll come back to that shortly. So what is it we're going to, to do? Well, Grok um, is uh, where we're going to be doing our inference um, and we get to pick different models that they have. Uh, you can see they've now got the, uh, uh, the new, new uh, 3.1 models. Uh, the 405 billion is not yet available on the API. Um, and then the, the, uh, the old models that uh, Facebook came out with just a few months ago, um, but nonetheless still available. And there's some other models and uh, you should totally uh, understand what they're for. But just like if you've ever played with uh, ChatGTP Playground uh, or Claude Playground, then similarly, we can put in our system message that we can put in some, uh, some user and assistant messages and, and, uh, and we can test out uh, how our model might work or how our inputs might work. Now it's not, whenever you're switching, whenever you're upgrading from one model to another, you shouldn't just assume it's going to work. So even if, even if OpenAI came out with a new model, like they did just recently, the 4.0 mini, um, you might think, well, excellent, it's cheaper, it's faster, I should just pick it and switch it. But your system prompt might not work with the inputs. 
just how you thought. So testing upgrades is important. The subject for a future video, uh, if you want to hear more about how I think you can go about testing upgrades, uh, please subscribe and we will uh, to make sure that you don't miss that when it comes out. So, but for today, what we're going to do is copy this content, this is my system prompt, into the system prompt here. Uh, it's the same one as just to have a quick read. Uh, you're an excellent personal assistant who is my front line of defense when strangers or prospective customers are trying to contact us via our form. When the user contacts us below, uh, please return their inquiry and return the plain string, please rate their inquiry, sorry, and return a plain string without quotes. Either they are a prospect, it's a cold offer, it's a complaint, or it's spam. The response must be only one of the following. Uh, that seemed to have worked till now. And the idea of that is that I can then pop that through a router and then I can, uh, each of the different parts that come off the router, um, I still can't get that right. Um, I'm gonna successfully get mine. Um, reverse mirrors are terrible. Uh, I can now um, filter for each one because I know what, uh, I have high confidence that uh, the large language model will only spit these ones out. And therefore I can do put them in different places in my uh, CRM and start different automations. So we wanna make sure that, um, that if we're gonna use a different model or even a different uh, provider of models, that it works the same. So let's test this out. I always like to try the cheapest, smallest model first. Uh, if, if you're not doing anything that requires complexity or reasoning, then maybe a small cheap models is, is the best. So we'll start here and we'll see how we go. Uh, let's try out some different things that we might get. I'd like help with our hair salon onboarding, please. And then press submit. And we're expecting one of these uh, things, uh, these tokens. That one's a valid one and a uh, fair and reasonable. Uh, we have, in fact, we have um, some SEO services to sell you. Let's try that one. That's correctly, Cam, that is a cold offer. Um, why did you say that awful thing on YouTube? That's correctly as a complaint. Do you want any raspberries? Got a bit of a hankering for raspberries at the moment. And interesting that it's tagged as spam and not a cold offer. Maybe I need a food base uh, filter as well. Who doesn't want to be offered food? Um, so at the moment, it, this looks like the ADB is, is the 8B is, is fine. Um, but if, if some of the answers coming through weren't, uh, weren't correct, then you might upgrade to the 70B and give that a try as well. So we are going to uh, start with the, uh, the 8B. Uh, and we're going to use this in our uh, model. Um, uh, sorry, in our scenario. So in order to get started, as it says, you want to create an account with, with Grok and get yourself an API key. Um, and uh, let me just do this off screen so that uh, I can create a key. Oh, actually, this is fine. Uh, YouTube a new key and we'll copy that and pop that off the screen future. So now over here at we will yeah so edit this. Okay, it wants to connect. We'll fix that in a second. So uh Grok YouTube I've I've already got one for Grok but we'll start another one. We'll paste the key in there. And we'll go back to the documentation. So uh, about the key, that's an environment variable relevant to us. Often when we're creating, um, when we are creating uh, uh, modules for, uh, for, for make.com um, and specifically the HTTP modules, uh, it's the curl requests that are probably the most likely ones that are gonna be easier to borrow the pieces. But here is the URL that we want. Um, and it's and there's where how we're going to do the token. So the token is actually going to have a key of authorization, and this is actually the string. So not just the key, but the word bearer with space in front. 
So I'm going to uh, change that. I'm going to go to the front. I've, oh, here we are. I can actually, there we go. So I've got bearer space and then the token it gave me. So I can go in the header and I, the key is going to be authorization. Now that's how Grok wants to be spoken to. Authorization is the key name and this is the value of that key. Okay, that's locked in and we can throw away that, throw away the key now. The next thing we want is the URL. That's the URL and it's a post. So we'll pop that URL in there and we'll change that to post. The body will be raw because we want it to be uh, JSON. And in here, we are going to, uh, we'll change the parsing to true. We want the, uh, the output to be parsed so we can use it straight away. And look, let's just copy and paste this example. All right. Uh, let's go format JSON. Put that in there. There we go. So this is what we're passing in. And if you know what the structure looks like, um, if you uh, know what the structure looks like, then uh, it's easy to add messages and system prompts, etc. And we'll do that over here. So we're going to come back and we'll pop that in there. Uh, you can see we're using the, the 8 billion. In fact, we can now change that to 3.1. Um, I believe that's the name, and we will give that a try. So let us now, firstly, um, so we're going to be play is rock llama 3.1. And we'll just run that only. It has worked. I need the input bundle. It did not work. 404 does not exist, and we don't have access to it. Not a problem. I got wrong. Python 3.1 instant. So Python 3.1. Oh, where was it? Instant. Cool. Here we go. Press the uh, view code, and now we get. I said curl is a good example. Here we are. This is a far better. Um, in fact, this is everything uh, that I played with. Let's uh, let's let's copy everything. Put that in here. Didn't work as well as we would have liked. Um, let's just we'll go back to building this out one by one. Why did that not work? All right, uh, it was 3.1, sorry about that. Um, and the model is here. 3.1, 8 billion instant. 3.1, 8 billion instant is the new name. Of that. Back into our requested content. Press OK and run this module only. This time we get a 200. This time we get our output and its answer is here. So we've successfully wired up, um, we've successfully wired up uh, the ability for uh, us to pass an input in, send it off to Grok, analyze it and get a response back just like if we'd use the OpenAI uh, module or the Claude module, Anthropics module. Um, and so, uh, and we get the speed and the, the access to this wonderful new model. So now uh, we will uh, replace this with, we need a system prompt here, and we'll need pass in our uh, user message that's coming in from uh, from our from the rest of it. So let's unlink this. Let's uh, what we want to do is 
make a little bit of space. So we're going to pop that in there. Disappointing. Is that wrong? We want to copy this link. Ah, let's go clone. Try popping it in there. You can go away, delete you. And uh, we'll have both of them for the moment. Then we'll get rid of um, we'll get rid of this one in a short moment. Let's change this to access and query as well. And let's borrow what we've learned. So this is the the uh, the content, uh, and it was this one discussion. So let's go finish uh, where we finish. This message that's coming in is going to be uh, the original sort of discussion that came in from the contact form. I'm going to pass that and assess that for uh, what type of query the person's making. Next, we need this uh, system prompt. And as we were seeing before, it gets a little tricky to, uh, to get complex system prompts uh, with quotes, etc. You and but let's let's try it. Let's just paste this in here. Uh, back there. Let's see if it works. And uh, we will run this module only. And now we can just pass in that, uh, that prompt. Ultimately, this prompt will come here, input. But um, uh, can you help us? 400, we've got something wrong. Yes, this is the challenge of playing around with, uh, with this stuff, is we need to escape. Got um, all sorts of things in here. So what we'll do, we will use the took a moment to myself. Uh, I have removed the, the posture tree from uh, from your. Um, and then, <laughs> look, if you're wondering, the, uh, the problem of escaping Jason is a two-year-old problem that people are still waiting for some help. But uh, let's, let's, let's do what we can. So I've removed, sorry, I've removed the, uh, I've removed the apostrophe. And, and then when we take this, this block, um, we can now pop that into here. Uh, we can also remove the stop stream. We don't need stream true at all. Uh, we'll definitely get rid of stream true. And let's clean up some of the others as well. We could set temperature to, to uh, 05. We only need a few tokens returned to us. Um, but definitely get rid of stream true. Um, and pass that content back in of our discussion. Press enter. And we'll run this module. Help me, please. And now the data coming through looks very much like, exactly like you'd expect from the ChatGP model. And there we have our prospect. So we can now wire up each of these to use, instead of uh, picking it from the uh, OpenAI module, we can now use the uh, Grok module. Go down to here. Um, we don't get a nice uh, result, top level result. Uh, as we did from this module, we'll have to duck down inside, pull that out. Similarly for this one, duck down inside the nested, pull that out from the assistant. And lastly, choices messages content. okay so we will keep both of them for the moment but with the uh the the, uh, the filters here are uh, pulling the value from from this module instead of this module let's run this i'll go out of our contact form 
and say, uh, I have SEO for you. Want to buy it? Submit that form. That does the redirection. You can see it's come through. It's come through. Let's have a look at each of these. Uh, we see that the result from the OpenAI was cold offer. We see the result from our Brock running Llama 3 is cold offer. And we went through. So, uh, and it went through to the cold offers uh, bin of happy places where uh, it was stored forever. We can now delete the uh, OpenAI. We can rename this to via Llama 31 or 8B. So we have a little visibility in what we're using. And if we ever find out that it's misbehaving sometimes, then I would probably toggle that and switch that up to, uh, to perhaps 70B um, to get that to be a little more accurate a little more often. In fact, uh, I've decided I'm going to anyway. I want a little bit of trust. I'm going to change that from uh, 70B to from 8B to 70B. I'll restructure that so it looks pretty. Save that. We'll run that in development mode one more time. Um, can you help with our business? Submit that. Thank you. And over here, we see that it, it has that, uh, yes, I guess I got that. I'm glad I did a test. Instant is not its name. Glad I did a test. It's not called, it's called versatile. Of course it is. There is the name of the model. I'm back in here. Edit this for one last time. Change that to a versatile. Save that, run this in development mode. Let's submit. Last time, it's gone to the sales contact form. It's gone off my phone. And we've now switched from using OpenAI and using the Llama 3.1, using uh, the 70B model. Could have used the 8B, and in the future, we'll be able to use the 405 billion model. Um, all from within. Uh, within our uh, make scenario. So really, this opens up a huge range of options and uh, across all of my um, mod, uh, all of my scenarios, I'll be replacing uh, each places where we're using OpenAI with perhaps looking at using these models. And uh, hopefully you have success with it too. Drop a comment if you uh, do switch over. And uh, it's been awesome chatting. Uh, see you in the next video.